Heightened security measures are in place across southwest Nigerian states in response to recent events as authorities have bolstered security around key government installations aiming to prevent any attempt to disrupt law and order by groups pushing their agendas. Security agencies have seized or issued stern warnings emphasizing their resolve to clamp down on any form of insecurity. They caution individuals claiming affiliation with the Yoruba nation's agitation to choose the path of peace or face the consequences. This announcement comes after an alarming incident on Saturday where separatist Yoruba nation agitators made an audacious attempt to seize the Oyo State Government Secretariat in Ibadan. Reports indicate that the agitators, dressed in army camouflage and armed with rifles, sought to raise their flag at the Oyo State House of Assembly premises. However, swift action by security agencies led to the arrest of 20 individuals involved in the attempt. To discuss this further, I'm joined by Global President, Yoruba Council Worldwide, Oladotun Hassan. Hello, Oladotun. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I got the program. All right, so Oladotun, what are the legal charges that the arrested Yoruba nation agitators might face for the attempt on the Oyo State Government Secretariat? Well, the, the act of the, uh, the, I would call them the drug to the element under the guise of this Yoruba nation agitators uh, is highly condemnable, is illegal, and is questionable felony uh, against the state. Uh, the entire Yoruba, I speak for the entire Yoruba land. The entire Yoruba land is not in any way endorsing anything called Yoruba nation agitation. Uh, we are for true federalism as far as the Republic of Nigeria is concerned. Our opinions are geared towards developing our democracy. And what just transpired is just a lack of uh, knowledge, uh, ineptitude, and um, laziness in thinking of some persons. Uh, led by one uh, only theory as uh, Abiola and some other person, characters, mm -hmm. who just believe that uh, via social media, they can take over and declare a state, which is very wrong. There are processes. Hello? Ola Dalton, can you hear me? Hello, Ola Dalton. All right, we seem to be having connection issues uh, with Ola Dotun, but uh, hello, can you hear me, Ola Dotun? I can hear you. All right, please go ahead. Yes, it is highly illegal and uh, I did it um, uh, on court for. And I, as I speak to you of any urban nation agitation, whoever that is doing that is self serving. Uh, we are aware one Abiola Onitiri is been declaring on social media that uh, there is a country called Yoruba Nation. We are all Yoruba. We all believe in uh, Yoruba ness and our Mumoluabi character. And in Yoruba land, we don't take decisions in this uh, uh, disgruntled uh, uh, manner. And it's highly uncalled for. And as I speak as the president of Yoruba Council worldwide, all of us are not in support of this uh, ridiculous act. Uh, it's so embarrassing and uh, inimical to call this that uh, these people are from Europe. But I believe they might be sponsored again to disrupt the uh, democratic process. We call on Nigerian police. Uh, 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 all right, and all right, Ola Dotun. Now, talking about democratic processes, how does the right to peaceful assembly differ from actions that could be construed as public disorder? Well, uh, peaceful assembly has fundamental right as enshrined in the, in the constitution of the Republic of Nigeria. It is entrenched in the Universal uh, Declaration of Human Rights and African Charter of Human Rights. These are global inherent rights of inalienable rights of every man to assemble peacefully and to agitate for whatever that pleases them. But when it becomes unlawful assembly, is the carrying of arms, invasion, and seizing a government asset. That means that is unlawful, that is threatening violent conduct, that is conduct that is capable of breach of peace, 
And these are crimes that are, that are punishable under the ACDL. And these are crimes that the country, if found out. So as a president of the council and as a lawyer, I believe this is highly uncalled for. And this is to, to call all these agitators to order, including um, uh, uh, Tristan De Gbomu, uh, Professor Baji Akitoe, that is, there is high time they think outside the box and resolve on developing the land on a peaceful model, not this chance of war, chance of uh, declaration here and there. Yoruba nations are not gotten on this premise of uh, of brutal or brutalist process. Whatever is going to be in that regard, people need to sit down. See, there must be a referendum. There must be there must be plebiscite. These are not just group of people sitting somewhere and uh, it's just like a beer parlor declaration. It has nothing to do with the entire um, Yoruba nation. And I want to implore, just as this is going, we call it call on the Biafran agitators to also see their sword. Because people like this are being sponsored by some persons outside the country or within, who making them believe that, oh, just go and declare by tomorrow. You, you know, these are misleading uh, 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 calculated efforts, which are criminal. And that's why I'm calling that there must be proper investigation and prosecution of everyone, anyone found culpable as far as this crime is concerned. Uh, we uh, believe in Yoruba uh, land, we believe in Yoruba grace, we believe in everything God has just blessed us with the president of the Republic of Nigeria. And that is the best way, the only thing we can do is to ensure that while we are sitting as president, we caution our own son, we guide him very well not to, to ensure proper delivery of dividend of democracy it's been distributed uh, yeah, equitably to all uh, Nigeria. Uh, all right, uh, Oladotun. Now, as a lawyer yes. and in your, you know, uh, expert's opinion, uh, are there any legal frameworks within Nigeria for a region to pursue secession peacefully? Well, there is no provision as far as the country's constitution is concerned, especially I'm an agitator for a new people's constitution, a constitution that read not the the the, uh, the, the military we could perform the 1999 constitution but a constitution that that recognizes the indigenous rights of the people and identity these are critical areas that must be considered even in uk it recognizes the, the citizens value but as far as this constitution is concerned in its own litmus way it's not enough to to solve the entire nigeria mass of problems and that's why a lot of agitation has been on for the structure. And this is not restricted to Yoruba thinking alone. You know. This is a national call. And we have had a national call before now. We have had a lot of uh, conversations on this policy. These are the dated opinions that we want the, the, the government of the day to sit over and converse with the people. There must be conversation. But as far as the constitution of the land is concerned, there is no provision for such. All right, well, thank you so much, uh, Oladotun Hassan, for joining me and speaking on this.